Hey everyone, Ryan from Rotorood Studios here. Thank you for joining me in my own little solo grav experience. Um, I just loaded into the same planet that I did my uh, first look video in. Okay, there's the, the big orb. Um, and it did not spawn me in the exact same location that I was in earlier. Um, it kind of spawns you in a, uh, a zone, um, but it's not like very specific, I guess. Like, it's kind of a large area, and it'll spawn you anywhere in that area. Um, unless I build a, uh, oh, what's it called? An uplink. If I build an uplink, it, uh, I'll spawn much closer to the uplink. It has a much smaller, uh, spawn area. So, today, I'm gonna kind of be going through a little bit of a tutorial. Um, I'm gathering some resources here. Um, but I'm gonna start building a small base, um, and show you guys a, a few things from that. Um, also, I think my color, my player color is different than it was whenever I joined the other day, so, um, I'm gonna show you something real quick. I actually like a different color. Uh, if you open, if you press tab or the uh, little, I think it's the tilde key right above tab on your keyboard, it opens the console and I can type down here. Um, I'm going to type in set player primary color um, and then I'm just going to put 155 and bam, my primary color is now red. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Set player secondary, whoops, secondary color, zero for red, zero for green, zero for blue, what's this alpha, what does that do? It's black, I don't know, but that's kind of cool, kind of look like Deadpool or something, but uh, anyways, I'm going to stick with that for now. Uh, but yeah, so that's a little tip right there. You can set your player color manually in-game. I'm assuming they'll add something, some sort of functionality uh, in the future where you'll have like a menu you can open up. Uh, right now there's not much of a player menu, um, or a, I'm sorry, a character menu. Uh, but if you press K, it does open a player skills and a pets uh, menu. And if you click on your job astronaut, you've got a couple of different skills here that you can unlock. Um, movement speed is the first one I think you can get. Uh, but you have to be, let me click it, level five before you can get it. But uh, yeah, and then there's a few other jobs you can pick up on a different character. Um, I picked up a job called scientist. So it's like a separate class and you can level them, level them up separately. Uh, which is kind of neat, but if you equip your scientist, or I think there's an engineer class as well, if you equip them, your player level basically goes back down to zero at the start, and you have to level up from scratch, so you don't do as much damage, and you don't have as much health. Um, however, if you have unlocked any abilities for, say, your astronaut, like let's say I had upgraded my movement speed, I keep that movement speed um, whenever I switch classes. So both my scientist and astronaut would have that movement speed buff, even though I was a lower level. So anyways, oh, hey, there's my armory that I built the other day. Way off in the distance. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to kind of make this my base zone. I think this is where I'm going to build. It's not exactly the flattest ground over here, but it should be close enough for, for what I need. Okay, to start with, I know that I'm going to need some fossils and wood to build my base. How much do I have? 84 fossils, 141 wood. Not very much. So I'm going to collect a little bit more. And we're going to start building some stuff. think I'm actually going to leave this armory here. Um, you can actually, I've pressed E to interact with it, I can actually self-destruct it, 
Um, I'll get some of my material back. Not all of it, but I'll get some. Um, I think it was... I don't remember how much it cost to actually build the armory. But, as you can see, there's some wood. Floats over to me. I got 27 wood and 26 fossils. I'm imagining it actually cost closer to 50 or 100. Um, I'll drop another armory here in a little while, and we'll actually see how much it costs. Um, but yeah, so let me get a little bit more fossils and wood here. This takes a, takes a little bit here at the lower levels to start gathering materials, but again, wood and fossils are, are two things you're definitely going to need early game. Um, I highly recommend, uh, especially since I'm in an area that most of the enemies don't automatically attack me. They're not very aggressive. Um, oh, and enemies will be marked as aggressive. Like this here says a sparking slime. Um, an aggressive one, I think it says sparking aggressive slime. Um, or a boss, um, which is like twice the size or larger of the little slimes. Uh, but if it says aggressive or if it is a named boss, uh, they normally automatically aggro to you if you get too close to them. So, we're going to cut down this tree, and then let's go over here. out here in the opening a little bit. Okay, this is kind of a nice big area. Let's start building something. I'm going to go with the frontier rooms. Um because I actually really like how the, the frontier rooms look. Uh, let's start with a wood room. Come on, let me click it. Wood room with a door. Um, so I can kind of see what it's going to look like here. Uh, but as you, I can use my scroll wheel on the mouse, and I can rotate it. So you can kind of see the outline of the door right here. Uh, if I rotate it, now it's on that side. Now it's on the back side. And now it's on this side. Um... I actually think I, let's get back in that square, I actually think I like it on this side right here, but I'm going to move over a few squares, so, whoops, let's go one more, Where did it, okay, so it looks like the door is going to be right here on this front panel here, so I'm going to press E to place it, and, whoops, right now, it's not much, it's just a single room, um, climb up inside, and bam, I have a tiny home. Nothing in it. Now, to expand it outwards, let's see if I actually have enough material. Uh, wood room with windows. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually was going to build the stone rooms, but I'll, I'll go with wood for now. I'll build a, a small base out of wood. Um, so there we go. I've expanded it out a little bit. And basically, it automatically... Uh, I don't have enough wood to build anything else, but it it, it places everything in a grid, um, and as you can see, it kind of puts a little foundation underneath. If I started building this direction, um, I'm actually kind of tall here, so, or, I'm sorry, not tall, but there's enough room underneath that one for me to stand, so if I put another one right here attached to this wall, um, it might actually be floating. Uh, sometimes it does that. It's kind of kind of strange. Um, but so I'm going to go ahead and I guess I don't need fossils for this, but I'm going to grab the fossils because they're right here. I like to uh, stock up on resources whenever I'm walking by. But let's get a little bit more wood. I want to expand that out a little bit more. I'm just going to cut down two or three trees here real quick. I say real quick. It's kind of subjective however long it takes. Right, something... Oh! Hey! An aggressive slime. There we go. So this guy is aggressive, and he's automatically going to attack you if you get near him. So, kind of what I was saying earlier. I could hear him. He made a little kind of squeaking, grunty noise that the slimes make, um, and that means he's getting ready to attack something. Some of the other monsters uh, later on that you'll run into will actually growl at you or um, make, you know, they, they all have their own unique noise that they make uh, when they see you or when they're, they're planning to attack you. So let's see here. 
much wood do I have now? 196. I'm going to get a little bit more. Um, it was taking 75 wood per one of those rooms. And I want to add a few more, so... I'm not going to make this base gigantic by any means, but I'm just going to expand it out a little bit. So, alright, let's get back over here. Uh, as you can see, at the very bottom left, I have my health bar and then my stamina bar. Uh, when I first started, my stamina bar was actually the same size as my health bar. But over time, um, the uh, stamina bar shrinks down. Let's see. There we go. Uh, I've got kind of a nice little rectangular room here. It's kind of weird, the, the bushes going through the wall there. Um, but as you can see, over time, it's it's about halfway. There's a little tiny notch. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little marker for the halfway point on the bar, and the stamina bar is slowly shrinking. There's multiple ways to uh, increase your stamina bar back up to full, and I'll trees in my way. I'll show you a little, uh, one of the easiest ones uh, here in just a moment. There's items you can build uh, called rations. Um, in fact, I think you actually spawn into the game with a few of them. Let's see here. Food rations. I've got a large ration and small rations. I'm going to go ahead and hot bar it. Uh, I'll just put it on eight. That's what I have it on my other character, so I'm used to it over there. But so now, if I press eight, my stamina bar uh, increased by a bit. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. Uh, but you can keep doing that um, when your digestion cooldown, which is on the left side of the screen. Uh, you can keep using more rations to increase your stamina bar. But there's an even simpler way that I will show you here in just a minute. I'm just harvesting some more wood real quick. Looks like the sun's about to set too. Looks like it's about to get night. Okay, I've got a little bit of wood here. I am gonna build a placed item campfire. Alright, build the campfire. And notice nothing is happening, but if I press X to dance, first off, I get some kind of quiet dance music, some electronic techno stuff. Secondly, I have a really cool dance that I do. Um, it changes and varies. But third, you can see in my uh, menu on the right hand side of the screen that I gain stamina from dancing until I until my dance meter, I'm sorry, my dance meter, my stamina meter is full. Dancing next to a campfire um, actually gives you your health and your stamina back, which is fantastic. Um, now, if you're in a multiplayer server, if more players dance by the fire with you, the music actually gets louder and clearer, like you can hear it a lot easier. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and extinguish that. The longer it stays on, uh, the more wood it uses, and you can have a whole, I don't know how much wood the fire can actually carry, but it costs 20 to create it in the beginning. But I like to ex uh, extinguish it so I'm not wasting... Uh, the wood. So I'm going to go back in here and go ahead and let's kind of get this lined up a little bit here. I'm going to create an armory inside my base. Um, I'm also going to create a science station in here. There we go. So at the armory I can build currently ammo for a pistol, even though I don't have a pistol, and I do have a blueprint for a pistol though. I just need gems and ore, so I might work on getting one of those here in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my knife to the Rotted Wood Club. Um, so that needs 75 fossils and 75 wood. I'm going to go ahead and build that, and notice it auto-equips, so I now have a Rotted Wood Club. However, if you notice in my hotbar, I still have my knife there. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't, I don't really think that's considered a, a bug. Um, cause I mean, I do still have the knife hot barred. It's just set up that way, but I would like to have my, uh, wooded club hot barred. So I'm going to go ahead 
and overwrite my knife with my club. So now anytime I hit one, it'll pull out my club instead of the combat knife. Let's see. Oh, I can build a health stem starter. It's not very good, but it will uh, give me a little bit of health. Um, now here's a, a nifty item, the locator. Uh, I need more, what was it, organics? Yes, I need more organics for the locator. Um, the locator, uh, see at the very top of my screen, I've got kind of a compass. Uh, it says locator not built. Um, if I have a locator, it'll actually give me my coordinates of where I'm located. In a single player game, might not be as useful. Um, but in a multiplayer game, it helps you find other players. So I'm building a composter. Uh, the composter allows you to add wood and turn it into organics. So while that's dealing with those, I'm going to go ahead and harvest a little bit more wood because I think I'm getting kind of low. I'm at 16. I'm going to harvest a little bit more wood and add them to the composter. See that glowing orange uh, kind of smoke over there in the distance where my reticule's at now? That, ooh, actually there's another glowing orange over there. This glowing orange is what they call element X. It's a element that's uh, kind of rare. Not, well, not rare, but it, it's more difficult to get than anything else that I've seen so far. Um, in the distance, that is most likely a cave or a dungeon. Um, ooh, there's a frozen aggressive flying bug. Looks like my composter. So you take the 20 that's in there. I'm going to add some wood. You can... If you click once, you'll add one at a time. If you shift click, you can add ten at a time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go for a little bit. What do I what did I need for the locator? Forty organics. I need fifteen more. Let's go check what armor I can build. Two gems, sixty wood. Build the helmet. All right. Before I turn around because it looks ridiculous. This is the wood helmet. Be prepared for my scary face. Scary face. Ah, and aggressive. Alright. Let's get a little bit more wood, because I'm going to need quite a bit to, uh, to build the whole rotted wood set. Um, armor in this game... Uh, not only does it give you damage reduction, but it also gives you um, a little bit more health than what you uh, have to start with. So you get health and damage reduction. Uh, there's quite a few bugs out here. Or not just bugs, but uh, quite a few monsters out here. Why is that tree glowing over there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but kind of right there. That tree kind of has a glow around it, but none of the other ones seem to have that, that glow. Oh, you just murdered the NPC. Poor guy. Alright, so now... I should have my organics. Get in here. And build my locator. So now, top of the screen, I am now at location 60, negative 122. And I'm in a level 1 zone. That's the other important thing. It'll actually tell you the level of the zone that you're currently located in. Which, that could be pretty helpful on a single player, single player game. Um... What do I need for an uplink? Oh, sweet. I've got all the stuff I need. I'm going to go ahead and build an uplink. Because this is basically my spawn point. 
There we go. And I should be, yep, I'm bound to my uplink. So now, if I disconnect and reconnect, I should spawn within a, a certain radius of this device right here. And it is one of the first items that you have automatically unlocked in the game. Um, it is under placed items. Oh, and I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but you press B to access your build menu, at least in the, uh, the default uh, control scheme. And you've got quite a few different crafting items here. As you progress, you'll unlock blueprints, and you'll find a lot more items to craft. Um, I'm not even very far in the game with my other character, and I probably have twice as many items as I currently do uh, to build. But So anyways, um, here's a very small base that I've got here uh, with an armory, a science station, and an uplink inside. The monsters can actually currently get in here, which is not, you know, fantastic. But there is an item that you can get later on that I'll actually be searching for in my next few videos uh, that will allow me to wall off the door. I'll be able to put a force field up um, and power it with a generator. Ooh, there's another cave right there. That'll probably be... That right there will probably be the first cave that I go to, because that one looks closer than wherever that other one was up in the hills. That one looks further away. So I will probably be wandering over to that dungeon right there in the next video. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And let's get this fire going. Alright guys. It has been fun. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment if you've got any tips or questions, stuff you want me to cover. And subscribe if you just want to watch more of what I'm doing. Alright guys. See y'all.